Hi, just another video uh, for the workshop here at RC Legends. Just a quick tutorial um, to look at the uh, FPV monitor bracket. Um, basically just uh, to just go through the components um, and just show you how to put it together. So we've got all our components here. Um, we're going to start with the two uprights. Um, first of all, get the biggest bolt you've got. Um, just poking through there like that. Uh, followed by a plastic washer. You want to get the 90 degree angle um, bracket. Just put them in like that. Uh, then you get your nylock nut. And go over the top. Okay. Then do the same for the other one. Obviously, make sure that um, they're both uh, in the same direction. And again, get your biggest bolt that you've got. Put it to the top there. Followed by a washer. Followed by the bracket and then the nut again. And then you're just going to get those tightened up. It can be a bit tight. Um, so you really got to clamp them up, just like that, and they should still be able to spin, not loose, um, but still be able to move, just so when, uh, when the monitor's on that you can move the monitor back and forward. So I'll just do the same to the other. Okay, and once you've got those two like that. We can look at getting the top plate on. So the top plate, take your other two sort of button uh, head style uh, bolts, and we just put them through just like that. Um, then you just need to get your nut on the other side. It can be a bit fiddly because obviously you've got the other the bolt going through. So it's best if you get in it like that and line them up. And then feed them through. Just like that. You can leave them loose for now just until we get the other one. Uh, in place. So again, do the same. Then, once you've got them loose, um, you can just nip them up. the other side. Now at this point it doesn't matter um, where they are on that slot because depending on which transmitter you're using uh, will depend on how far uh, these have to be away from each other. Um, so you can leave them slack uh, for now or just nip them up just so you know, don't over tighten them because just so you can move them in and out like that um, to adjust them for whichever transmitter you're putting them on. Right, um, I'm going to put it on a, a DX6 um, spectrum transmitter. Um, so I'm going to get the bracket like so. Um, then basically, I'm going to take the, the metal fixings here, um, put those on the inside. Then get the bracket and line up um, two holes. Now you can have these whichever way around you want them. The holes are there, um, multiple holes, just so you can adjust what sort of angle you want on it. Um, so I'm just going to go for that one there. Just 
going to put him through with my uh, Allen key. Mm. Oops, just get my next uh, bolt in there. And again, at this stage, just, just get him so that it's not going to move on the bar. Um, we don't over tighten them just yet. Uh, so he's on there, um, just like that. So because um, that's obviously um, not flush with the bar, um, I've just slackened this bolt off here, just so I can bring it in um, so that it's flush um, on that bar there. Um, I'm then going to get the bracket on again, uh, line up my holes and uh, put the two bolts through. And then just uh, tighten them up with my allen key. like so and then this top one um, I can just align up so that the uh, two bolts are even on both sides uh, and then I'm just going to nip him up again just like so um, and then you've got uh, your fully adjustable bracket um, and it's, it's even on both sides um, again, as I mentioned before, because of the multiple holes, um, you can set uh, how that is, um, you know, depending on the screen, depending on how you want it to look. Um, the kit also comes with um, a standard tripod screw, um, so if your monitor um, has a, a thread on the bottom, um, then you can just put that through there um, and bolt the um, FPV monitor straight onto the top. Thanks for watching another uh, tutorial from RC Legends Workshop. Keep on watching.